Hey, I thought I'd do a video on this concept. It's pretty important. Uh, when you think about strategy, you think about long-term strategy. Why do I think strategy is so important? Well, I'll give you an example. I got online in about 1995. Got in real estate uh, in 2002. I've had friends in real estate going back to 1988, hanging out with my friend Glenn at Aria yesterday. He's 22 years in the business. Uh, Mike Jack and I were talking a couple days ago. He's been in the business, I think, 26 years. I've got some friends, known him for 23, 24 years. I've seen a lot of changes in real estate in the 15 years I've been in the business, and I've heard a lot of stories from other people for the up to 30 years they've been in the business. And being online since 1995, um, I know a lot of people didn't get online until 2001, 2002. So I've been online for 22 years. And I'll tell you what, um, I couldn't even count how many changes I've seen in like the internet, Ten, thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, innovation and disruptions and all that kind of stuff. And so to set up websites or set up certain things and put your time in based on what you used to do back in the day, um, that stuff's outdated before you know it. That's why these malls are closing and there's a retail apocalypse and there's the Amazon effect and there's just a lot of... Uh, innovation disruption going on nowadays even in the real estate business right and so I have to think of a strategy that's a long-term strategy in a world that is changing so quickly right so I'll, if you look at some of my videos you will see some things like the branding is the or, 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 or as I market that that reinforces my last name personal brand is a strategy look it up Gary Vaynerchuk and other people will tell you long-term strategy personal branding is what you need to do that is your positioning the ORR whether you want to call it a process a framework whatever uh, optimize reinvest and ROI and ROI is a lot about investing reinvest is about putting money back in your business the compound effect and then uh, I think we'll all agree that we will have to in innovate and optimize for the rest of our lives that's not going away. my name isn't going away personal branding is not going away um, the next level after that um, is going to be B2B copywriting and uh, I think everyone will agree they'll be everyone will be doing business to business for the rest of our lifetime uh, everyone will agree that uh, the more you study copywriting, it's really just a human element. It's based on emotions. It's based on people making a decision. Um, and that's been around for, I mean, it's been popular for at least 100 years. That's not going away anytime soon. Um, so copywriting is going to be around a really long time. I'm going to continue to invest my time into that. And then a lot, you can do copywriting for a lot of different industries. I choose to do it for real estate in the finance credit industry. Um, I think credit scores are going to be around for a really long time. I think financing, uh, financial planning is going to be around for a long time. Real estate is part of Maslow's hierarchy. Um, everyone needs a roof over their head. That's not going away anytime soon. So concepts have been around for easily a hundred years. Copywriting, real estate, even personal branding, all of that. That's been around for a century and that's not going away anytime soon. You're going to see the uh, acquisition. So I'm focusing on retention as well and relationships and the right business to business relationships. The front end, the technology and the acquisition and the vanity metrics and how many likes do I get and how many comments do I get and shares I get and all that kind of stuff. That stuff's going to be changing every hour of every day for the rest of our lives. So everything from self driving cars to how real estate will be tracked through apps and all that kind of stuff, you can't catch up with that, right? Um, at the end of the day, you need the retention in your own life. You need security in your own life. That's Maslow's hierarchy again. You need a place that you can count on every day to wake up. You need a, uh, a way to transport to wherever you need to get to. Um, for now, people need to have income unless there's a universal basic income that comes out. So you need to think about strategy long term. And that's why it's really important to understand the credit financial real estate business. It's very important to understand copywriting and how that works. And then it's also very important to understand value propositions and positioning. And then also long term, your own personal brand. Um, also, tied in, I am teaching people how to move through the cash flow quadrant, which is popularized, and just moving through the different quadrants from employee to self employed to business owner to investor. 
and that's a that's what I would call a framework that has a lot to do with the, the world that we live in right now. Now, if universal basic income takes off in the next few years or 10 or 15 years, that may change a little bit. But right now, jobs have been around for, I mean, they're changing with like how pensions have changed and how retirement's changing. And that'll be an interesting topic that comes through my copywriting in the future. But for now, um, I see people having jobs. I see people building businesses. And I see people investing and managing their money and where they invest their money and so forth. I see that being a hot topic for the next 20, 30, 40 years. So again, that ties into strategy. So again, I want to thank you guys for watching this. Pay attention to my videos going forward and seeing exactly how I do them. And I hope we can connect sometime in the future.